Hello everyone, welcome back to Civilization 5, our Tarconian Empire. We're still over here next to Mur and defending, well, we're trying to defend our ally, but uh, at the same time, we also have some rich men over here who, uh, well, always steal our stuff. They steal our influence with Mur because they always snag, um, uh, well, our influence. Well, they, they always snag the units that we almost destroyed and then they go in and take the kill. Um, which is very annoying, but now that we moved away, perhaps this ship's gonna sink. I hope so. I definitely hope so. And we're just gonna go over here and just destroy these guys. Uh, so far, we have not been bothered by them, so might as well just shoot them from a distance. It's quite a lot of fun, actually. I enjoy doing this. And um, we're obviously gonna get our experience up, and that's good, because that means we're gonna be able to name the horse archers. I missed out on that last time. But yeah, let's... Uh, get a new production silver dance um okay you could build a temple as well well probably not gonna do that although actually, oh it's not gonna give extra faith here uh, extra happiness hmm oh because this is not following our religion yet i see but i guess none of, we're just gonna build a granary here simply because it's gonna give extra food um so yeah i think we're just gonna do that we need food to grow the city even though it should actually be more because we send, yeah, we're sending from trade routes, we're sending three, even though it says we're sending four, whatever. And we have now discovered the silver over here, which is very good. Um, so obviously, once we're done over here, we're going to send our workers to work the silver mine. And we're going to get even more happiness, which is so amazing. I love that. We're just the happiest people in the world right now. At least that's what it seems like. Anyways, um, we can choose another production as well. Wow, these guys are just so quick, but I think that's because we're in the golden age. Um, and I probably want this. We don't really have that many citizens. Um, don't need a happiness. So yeah, let's get the science. Let's get the science done. Yeah, we're producing so much more science. Awesome. Um, okay. Okay, Greyfang might actually be in trouble here. Okay, so Greyfang is currently defending Sunhold. Then it seems like the Blood Riders will have to go and kill these uh, undead hand axes. I don't know where they're coming from. But they're gonna be busy doing that. Okay, and Greyfang's actually not that powerful against these spearmen. Fortification. Bonus versus mounted units. Oh, interesting. Spearmen are actually... They have terrain modifier. Forest. Then they're fortifi uh, for yeah, fort fortified. And they have a bonus. 50% bonus. So a dragon is apparently mounted. I guess that makes sense. Wow. So, this is actually quite difficult for us. Hmm. They could attack us and completely destroy us. But yeah, just fortify here until you're healed. Uh, we're going to have to keep these guys in check. Perhaps we're going to send over another unit. Um, maybe the flame spurs, but that's going to take too long. Well, we need to do something. Let's see what the reach does. Um, they're actually fighting that ship, and it seems like they're winning. Damn it. That's not good. How are they winning? <laughs> All right. Two of our caravans over here. And another production has finished. Jesus, why is that so quick? Um, now this would just be useless. So instead, we're just going to build. I don't know, a stable just seems so useless. It's only going to be one production. I don't really want that. One maintenance to happiness. Or to faith. Give me the uh, faith for now. Yeah. And you guys... Pursue these hand axes, kill them. You can't run away from my horses. Wow, look at that. They have survived this onslaught. Look at them. They're already dead, so, you know, there's that. And I guess you guys, one more range attack. Hopefully, these guys are not gonna sweep in and take the kill. That'd be quite frustrating. Um. Yeah, just stay here, heal up. He's probably going to take care of that ship, but oh well. Not much I can do against that. Actually, he did not. And the religion has found it. The Great Stallion has been found it. Awesome. Okay, I wonder... Oh, look at this. Ah, uh, horses being intact. They don't really do much damage, but still. The world's busiest people. Amount of production. Well, we're close. Wow, Atlanta has a lot of production. That's uh, I'm surprised, actually. I'm truly surprised. Uh, but let's check out the religion. The world religion. So we have the Great Skeleton. We have the Old Gods. 
and we have Dragon Hall. So let's check out their beliefs. Um, the Great Stallion has production from fishing boats. Yeah, that's totally what, what fits the Great Stallion. Fishing boats. Anyways, gardens provide happiness. Alright, I guess. And gold for each line of night. Okay, so they've picked line of night. I think still that our religion is better. The tithe. But yeah. And this unit, obviously, you're gonna kill these guys. Of course. Wow, he killed a horse with his one strike. That was pretty powerful. Anyways, we're gonna go back. I don't know where that uh, encampment was. We don't care. You have built um, this. Awesome. So probably... Probably want to send you over there. So this is gonna give free food. Okay. Um, Bulls Archers, you can actually finish this. And do well. So that should give us more... Happiness or more influence? It didn't. So maybe only one? I don't know. I don't know how this counts. Maybe that's too far away? Possible. Not entirely sure. We'll see. Yeah, probably it has to be in range or something of the city. Otherwise, it doesn't count. And immediately horses have spawned. What is drama but life with the dull bits cut out? Okay. Alfred Hitchcock, whoever that guy may be. Um, don't think he really has played a part in Rusturus, but oh well. You know, I think now that there's horses over there, we're just going to go away and let these guys produce more units. Um, and heal up our dudes. Okay, yeah, horses, go to Silver Dance and heal up. Thank you. Um, these guys have finally built. Okay, look at that. So next round, let's, let's see. Can we build? Yes, we can. We can build Dragonstone. So Dragonstone will provide a free castle, a free great general, um, grants 100 golden age points on standard speed whenever owner captures a city. Okay, has to build on hills and coastal, that's what we have. Following resources improve nearby pearls, iron and fish. Awesome, so we're gonna get Dragonstone. That's gonna be just so fitting, I like that. I'm very happy we're able to do this. Okay, so now you guys go back and finish your job of building the road, um, and then actually Mm, while you're over here, we might as well build a lumber mill over there. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and uh, you have healed up, so I'm gonna send you over and maybe destroy that ship over there. And, oh, look at that. More people. Okay, you destroy the archers, so they can't really do us any harm. You should just get rid of them immediately. Look at that, he's killing everyone. Single combat. What the hell? <laughs> it looks so odd. Okay, and you could not uh, attack him again, but fortify. And our caravan has finished, so what we're gonna do is establish a trade route to Silverlands. I think we're really gonna. Hmm. I think we're really just gonna pump into Silverlands. Would that make sense? That doesn't really make sense. Um. Zach's end was the previous route. Okay. Maybe to Saltcliffe. Maybe. Maybe. No, I think we're gonna go to Pentas. Yeah. Change your change to Pentas, and then we're gonna go from Pentas to Saltcliffe. Next turn. Okay, so these horses are just chilling over there. Another religion has been founded. Um, oh, the Faith of the Seven has been uh, founded in the Reach. Okay, so now all these guys are also getting their religions done. I see. An enemy is near Flaming Peak. What? Where are these? What are they? I thought we exterminated them, but these guys... Wow, yeah, they really... They feast on the dead. Okay. Wow, but look at that. Look at Flaming Peak. Look at the strength of this city. Okay, and uh, we're gonna send in Dark Flame and uh, Harold. No, Carl. Ka Carlon Haskaron? Jesus, I always forget the names. I'm sorry, guys. Carlon Haskaron, there you go. Okay, and he's taking care of these. And then there's a other encampment. Alright, we're gonna get rid of that one. Um, And let's build a new. Wow, we finished another production. We could build an amphitheater. I think what we're gonna do. 
Since we have so much production right now, we might as well build the Long Bridge. It's going to give us culture, great merchant points, it's going to give nearby river tiles gain 1, and ivory throughout the empire gains 2 production. We only have 1 ivory, but might as well build it here. Because why not? I mean, why not? We're kinda, we can try. Um, and over here, we're going to build, yes, start building Dragonstone. It's going to take 12 turns, and then we're going to get a free castle here. Awesome. Yes, Dragonstone, that's so cool. I hope we're gonna we get to see Dragonstone somewhere, um, but we'll see. And look at this, Dragon Hall is actually expanding beyond its city borders, uh, its its city um, city walls. It's just such a such a big city. Same with Sunhold. It's cool. I like that. Okay, um, you. Now what you could do is build a farm, but I think it's much better if we just construct the lumber mill. Although, well, what do we have right now? Uh, nope. We have one food, one production. So we could either get plus two food. So we get three food or get one food, two production. I think we we'll want to go for one food, two production. Yeah. Good. Get rid of the yield icons that too cluttered. Okay, let's check out more religion. We're almost at 300 again. Um... So, Dragon Cult, obviously, Faith of the Seven, they have Night Fires, okay, Culture from Pastures, and 100, 100 gold when each city first converts to this religion. Mm-hmm. Interesting choices. They all need money, so that's why they went to this. Okay, you have built this, so you're gonna get Coca. Um, nice. More happiness, but also it's gonna make Silverdance grow faster because they want Coca. Cool. Now let's actually see if we can trade with the uh, Iron Islands. No, but they're actually making money now. That's good for them. That's good for them. Because they have for quite a while, they have made negative money. So, yes, yeah, so just like these guys making negative money. We could give them or trade with them crabs versus pearls. But again, it doesn't help us that much right now. And it would help them way more. So I'm not really keen on doing that. Okay, you build a pasture here. Yes, please. And it does provide food. Okay. So never mind what I've said before then. So you have two archers. Okay, we're gonna send these guys on this hill and then heal up. And this ship, the Star Pike, under the command of Agon Pike, um, will be over here. Okay, and you can establish a trade route. You can't. Really. Okay, um, in that case, let's go to Flaming Peak. Hmm. You can't trade with Saltcliffe. I wonder why. Hmm, that's odd. Oh well. Yeah, look at this. These guys want to fight them. They would give me six gold per turn for one pearl. Can you give me seven? Yes. All right. So I feel like I haggled there. Maybe I could have. Maybe I could have even gotten eight. But yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, the Ironborn are far enough away, and, you know, we, we might as well get extra money from this. Um, five from other civilizations. Why is this only five? Did I, get, did I put in five? Damn it. Wait, no, I did not. Did I? City connections. Wow, look at that. The city connections, so much. Um... Expenses. Oh, I, I must have clicked five. Really? I was certain I clicked seven. Damn it. All right, I messed that up. Okay, you start building a plantation. That's going to get rid of one food, but will give us production and gold. Okay, what does it do right now? Three food. So we're going to get... We're going to have two food, one production, and three gold. I guess that's worth it, though. Yeah. Jungle, oh, jungle will be removed. Okay, I see. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to do that then. Because I want the luxury resource, so yeah. Huh, too bad. Okay, I guess you're just gonna have to deal with this encampment. Copper Hill. Copper Hill hasn't troubled us for quite a while, so I'm surprised that they are annoying us now. But, oh well. Yeah, you just fortify afterwards. We've actually dispersed. Okay, you know what? In this case... 
You are not gonna fortify. Actually, you're out of moves. Okay, never mind. Cool. Um, I am looking for this ship. Oh, that's over here now. I would like to destroy it because that would give us influence. Can we now establish a trade route to Saltcliff? We can. Good. I don't know what we couldn't do it from Penthos, but we can do it from over here, and that makes the Dragon Gate more important again. Great. And wow, our dragon has taken quite a bit of a hit, but yeah, let's attack these guys. We need to get rid of this encampment. But these guys are also not ready yet. Even though they're healing up, but very slowly. Okay. You know what? Just what did you have? You have shock. Fighting in open terrain, so yeah. Fortify. Next turn. So yeah, we're almost at 300 again. So perhaps what we will do is um, either get another mountain, mother of mountains, or we're gonna wait for a great prophet. I think, I think that's probably what we're gonna do. Wait for a great prophet, because there's no other city ready yet, and we're gonna have to convert some, some of them. Okay. Okay, this dragon you can come back to Flaming Peak, no problem there. And okay, so they have now built hand axe. And what happened to this ship? Probably got destroyed. Yeah, probably. Must have been. Okay, we're now building theology. Oh, I didn't even know. Do I want? Did I want to do that? Theology. Nine turns. Guilds is seven turns. Um. Sept of Baylor. Each piety pol policy adds one happiness. Wow. That would actually be quite useful. Hmm. Seven faith. And then we ha would have to go for piety. Excuse me. That would actually be cool, but I guess it's not that good. So this means we're gonna um, upgrade our dragons, which we probably need. We will be able to build gardens. Uh, or guilds will give us the iron bank. Uh, Alchemist guild provides science and spawns two wildfire trebuchets. Siege units with devastating damage to cities and naval units. Oh. That sounds interesting. But we have true fire. We have dragon fire. We don't need wildfire. Trading posts. Trading posts are probably important. We probably want to have to go for guilds. Simply because trading posts are important for us. Since, um... Well... Camp gold yields improved. Hmm. Uh, no, I think we're going to do this. Right, because... We want to enter the Age of Valyria, so we're going to go for Theology, and then we're going to go for Engine... Well, actually, no, we don't need Engine here. We could actually go for Guilds immediately, and then go... You know what? Yeah, we're going to shift to Guilds, and then we're going to go for Theology. Alright, um, that's pretty cool. Let's go on to the next turn, and see what may happen. So yeah, look at this. We can attack and then immediately heal in the same turn. That's very, very good. I like that. Not sure if only dragons can do that, but it's definitely cool. Okay, Saltcliff has grown. That's not really a big surprise. And nope, you're not going to go for production. I want you to... Is this... No, we're going to go here. Although... Nah, go here. You're going to be faster, I think. Is this... Um, yeah, this is Flood Lane, so it's going to give us uh, three food as well. Okay, uh, you have accumulated enough faith to purchase a building. Okay, Saltcliffe has grown. We've done that. And Sunhold can attack. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is this is getting insane. Oh, look at this. Okay, I think we're going to take out these guys first. Wow. Okay, you know what we're going to have to do? Send over Johnny Crapper. Um, he's not really quick. Damn it. He still has to cross the river. Okay, well, we're gonna have to send over uh, Johnny Crapper along the bright path um, to deal with these guys because we're, I don't think we're gonna be able to, to deal with them on our own. We're also gonna send over the Blood Riders just to contain these guys because and, because once these horses are loose, there's not much we can do. Uh, we need to protect our trade routes over here. Holy balls. Okay. Um, I guess attack once more with our dragon here. We need to get rid of this encampment. It's more difficult than I expected. Okay, you have built this. Um, okay, that's two food, two production. Um, so, 
let's go and get the silver then, I'd say. Awesome. Hopefully he's not going to get attacked while the blood rides are away. And you have... You have built a work boat. So this work boat is probably going to go over to protect... Ah, I see. So perhaps they're going to send a work boat to get the whales. And what we will do, what we will do is protect them along the way. Because then we're going to get the whales as well. Awesome. But anyways, I'm going to put an end to this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Sutranka, signing off.